this computer. Okay, guys, fine. So here the password is Oracle. Yes or no, guys? Yes. Fine, guys. So the username here is Scott and password here is Tiger. And then we will, this is the error someone was getting, no? Who was getting this error? I think Rakesh was getting, he was messaging. I don't know today he's joining or not. Hey Rakesh, uh, where are you getting this error? Yes or no? Rakesh, am I audible? Rakesh, are you there? Gaurav, am I audible? Uh, Samyukta? Yes, yes. Okay, okay, okay. No, actually, whatever. No, this error comes. Have you ever seen that? Double click here. Give the username as Scott and password as Tiger. What happens? No. Sometimes you'll get an error. So if that guy error comes, no. One option is just close it and open it. It will get connected. And one option is no, you go to services. Have you seen this services button here? Okay, just double click here and go to this uh, Oracle. Okay, just go to this ORA and just restart this. Okay, just right here and just click on restart. Oracle, Oracle, all these three Oracle, no, just restart. It will connect because the server gets slow. So anyways, guys, let me start the class set lines 1000 set pages 1000 excellent guys excellent so we learned something uh, guys uh, how to create a table can someone tell me what is the syntax to create a table create table table name column name table so if i want to yes yes right. excellent excellent if i want to create a table what will happen create table who is messaging me let me just see what is the message? Record accessor. I have given record as access. Okay. Create table, table name. So today I'm giving the name as a uh, table name. Anything you can give the name as table. Okay. So I'm just giving a name as uh, you Dharm. Spelling you have written wrong. Okay. Create table, table name. I'm giving the name as Dharmendra. Okay. Dharmendra. Now what I'm giving is the Data uh, column name as salary, data type as number, and this I am defining as what? Primary key. Do you know what is a primary key, guys? What is primary key? It's combination of not null and unique. Combination of not null and unique. It is one in a table, and the data in the primary key should be unique and not null. Okay, guys. Excellent, excellent. So this is how we will create a table. Now, what will happen, guys? We'll give a semicolon, enter. So a table will be created whose name will be what? Dharmendra. Am I clear till this much? Yes. Yes or no, guys? Uh, record access yet to give. Whom, whom, Rakesh? Yes, yes, Rakesh. I have given you the access, okay? Remove permission is coming. Okay. Uh, I think I have given you. Uh, anyways, uh, I think for you, it is not enabled. You're not joined by laptop or what? Okay. I have joined to laptop only. Okay, okay, okay. See, I've given you, okay? Just sit, see. Did you got it? Yes, I've given you, okay? Just record. Fine, guys. So this is how I create a table. Create table, table name, column name, data type, and this is a constraint, okay? Primary key, key means what? Data should be unique and not null. This is the uh, number data type and this is the column name salary. Everyone understood how to create a table. Tell me yes or no, guys. Tell me yes or no. Uh, Samyukta, yes or no. Did you understood this much? Uh, um, uh, Tapashvi, uh, uh, am I clear till this much? Am I audible, uh, Annapurna? Yes. Yes, guys, sir, you're I not can... responding. This is what is no, not no, no. I, said, I said yes. So I can. Oh, yeah, thank oh. you. Okay, Kirti, oh. hi. Hi. So, is, yeah. hi. so this is the table I have created, Dharmendra. Oh. 
Now, who is the son of Dharmendra? Do you know? Dharmendra is a big actor of Bollywood. I don't know how many of you know. His uh, son is who? Sunny. Okay. Sunny. Okay. So he is a child. Okay. Huh? Yes. He has two sons, actually. Okay. So his son is Sunny. So I have given a data, data type as number. Yes. Yes, guys. <clears throat> now, when I have given the data type as number, now what I can write is data type and then I can give a particular constraint if I want. So sometimes people write like this, okay, references, pair, table name, okay, Dharmendra and then the uh, foreign key. You can write just write like this if you want uh, to put the foreign key, but uh, Foreign key is generally decided by the uh, DBA, okay? Foreign key in this table, suppose Dharmendra is the parent table and in that, uh, what is the uh, particular uh, column? Suppose this is a cell column. Some people do it, uh, DBA people, this uh, they do like this, okay? So this is uh, uh, a particular way to uh, create a foreign key. Sometimes uh, they put, okay? Uh, Sunny, okay, and now they give a column name, suppose EID, and then you have to give a data type, suppose number, you want to give a 10, then you have to give a foreign key, then uh, parent table name, parent table name is Dharmendra, and then the column name, uh, their column name, okay, parent table primary key column name, that is nothing but your salary. Some people write like this, okay, this is also a way to represent the value guys and now yeah so here it is telling what uh, missing uh, parenthesis why this is telling missing parenthesis that i'll explain you give me some time i'll tell you now guys now i wanted to, to tell you is that uh, this is uh, we have created a table whose name is dharmendra and this is the column name this is data type and this is the primary key column why this error has come that we will take separately now I told you something called as uh, alter. Do you remember that, guys? Create, I have mm -hmm. told you. Yes. Alter is used. Why, guys? Did I start it? Alter, alter to modify the table structure. Yes. Alter. Did, did, what are the statements I have taken? I have taken create. I have taken rename. I have taken uh, uh, other, no? Which, which are the things I have taken? Notepad. Let me just open, guys, the notepad, yes. Yes, yes. I have taken create. Then I have taken what? Rename. Rename is used by guys to rename a table. Yes or no, guys? Yes. yes. Then, then I told you something called as what? Drop. What is drop, guys? Drop table that uh, table and its uh, structure. So drop is used to what? Drop a table. Drop is used to what? Drop a table. And when we drop a table, where it goes? It goes to the recycle, recycle bin. bin. And from okay, recycle bin, if, if, we, if we want to get back the table, what is the command we use? We use Flash. flashback. What is the syntax? Flashback table, table name to before drop. Yes or no, guys? Yes. Then I told you there is something called as purge. What is purge, guys? Anyone knows what is a purge? Annapurna, do you know what is a purge? Annapurna, any idea? What is a purge? Um, no idea. Sorry. Purge is used to permanently, you know, when we want to drop a thing, permanently. If you want to permanently drop a table, then we use purge. Like what? What we'll write? Drop table. Table name and then purge. Then what will happen, guys? This table will be permanently dropped. Suppose this is a Dharmendra table. I want to drop it. How can I write? Can I mute it? Guys, I'm getting some disturbance. Can you just mute your system? Drop table, table name. How, what will happen, guys? This table will be dropped or not? Yes or no? Yes. This table is dropped. If I want to get it back, what will I write? I'll write flashback. Can you just tell me the command? Flashback table table name to 
before drop. Yes or no, guys? Yes. This table will be taken back from the recycle bin. But if I use purge, guys, what will happen? Drop table, table name. If I use purge, what will happen? This table will be deleted. permanently dropped. Yes or no, guys? Yes. This is called as purge. So if I take a diagram, guys, can you tell me how is the drop happening? Can you just tell me if I take a diagram, guys, first a particular table. If I take a table and what happens, guys, if I drop this table, then what will happen? Can you just tell me? If I drop this table, what will happen? It will go to where? It will go to recycle bin. Yes or no? Yes. It will go to recycle bin. Now from the recycle bin, what will happen, guys? Recycle bin, I can flash back or not? Yes. I can flash back to where? To the table. What I can do? I can use what? Flash back. Or else what I can do, guys? I can permanently drop or not? Yes. yes. How can I permanently drop? Can you just tell me? Using what? Yes. Purge. Using a keyword called as purge. Did you understood drop statement? Yes or no? Did you understood what is purge? Did you understood what is flashback? And did you understood what is recycle bin? Tell me yes or no, guys. Yes. Sir. Yes. Excellent, guys. Excellent. I discussed this also in the yesterday uh, last class also. Okay. If you have understood this much, guys, what is the difference between drop and truncate? If I want to truncate a table, how can I tr truncate a table? Suppose a table name is there SS. So I have given a, just a column name and the data type. Okay. Now I want to truncate, uh, trun truncate this table. Sorry. Uh, extra. So he has gone. Create table, table name, column name. And then data type. Okay, now this table is created. Now I want to truncate it. What I will do, guys? Truncate table, table name. Now this table will be truncated. So what is the difference between drop and truncate? Who can tell me? Tell me, guys. What is the difference between drop and truncate? Can anyone drop, tell me? Drop is uh, uh, removes all the table structure as well as data and rows, everything. But in truncate, we can remove only the data. Oh, excellent, guys. excellent. Guys. So drop, will will write like this, okay? We'll write how? Drop will drop the table as well as what? It's constraint index, everything. As well as is data. Drop will drop the table as well as data. Truncate, what will happen, guys? It will uh, truncate only the data. Truncate will truncate only the data. But what the will happen, guys? Structure remains same. Yes, excellent, guys, excellent. But structure remains same. Excellent, guys. Then what is the syntax to drop? What is the syntax, guys? To drop a table, can anyone drop tell me syntax? Table, table name. Excellent, guys. Drop table, table name. And what is the syntax to truncate a table? Truncate, truncate. Truncate, truncate, truncate table, table, table name. Truncate table, table name. Excellent, guys. Excellent. Now, this is the syntax to drop. This is the syntax to truncate. But there's one more difference. What is that difference? From drop, we can use flashback. Yes or no, guys? Yes. Flashback to revoke revoke the table is uh, yeah, revoke the table, table and the right. data from where from, from recycle bin recycle bin here what happens guys there is no option no. to get the data back there is no option to get the data back yes, yes. excellent guys excellent did you understood drop, truncate, rename is what, guys? To rename a table. Rename a table. What is the syntax, guys? Rename, rename old, table. old table to new table. I told last class also. A old table name to new table, table. name. Excellent, guys. Excellent. Then I taught you 
create is over, concate is over, drop is over, rename is over, then we will learn the last thing called as alter. So what is alter? Alter is used to alter a particular column or a table. Table. Okay. Yes, guys. So tell me what is alter? If this is a table, alter, create table, table name, SS, table SS is, suppose I create a table, another table. Let us just take an example. Create table, some table name I'm taking, okay? Suppose DD, okay? Salary number 10. Fine, guys. This is a table created. Now, guys, what is I am trying to do is, what is the use of alter? Anyone knows? I, I can drop a, table, drop a column, add a column, or rename a column. Yes or no, guys? Yes. So what we'll do? Alter table, table name. If I want to add a column, what I have to do, guys? Add. Then I have to give the column name. So what is the column name I want to give? Suppose I want to give a column name EID. I want to get a, give a data type as number 10. Number, anything, number 10. So this is how the table is altered. We have added a column. Yes or no, guys? What is the syntax? Very easy. Alter table, table name, add, and the column definition. Column definition is what, guys? Column name and data type. Yes or no, guys? Tell me yes or no. Any doubts still here? How to add a column? Tell me, guys. Yes. Are you clear, everyone? Kirti? Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, what about uh, that new student? What is that? Yes. Annapurna, did you understood this much? How yes, to sir. add a column? Yes, sir. Excellent, excellent. Now, if I want to drop a column, guys, how to how to drop a column? Alter, table, table name, drop, okay? Column, column, name. column name, okay? So, uh, am I able to drop a column? How I drop the column? Just see the difference between adding a column and dropping a column is here what we do alter table table name add and then the column definition but while dropping a column what we have to do alter table table name drop column and then column name are you able to understand this much here we use a particular keyword called as column here we are not using that particular column keyword called as column am i clear till this much tell me yes or no yes sir excellent guys excellent so if you have understood then we learn something called as what, guys? Renaming a, a column using what? Um, the alter statement. So what we do? Alter table, table name, rename, column. What is the column? Sal to, suppose some uh, column I want. I want, suppose this column sal to be uh, renamed to salary, something I have written, okay? So what is that I am doing? I am just renaming this column salary to Sell to salary. So what I written? Alter table, table name, rename, column, column one to column two. Did you understood these three statements? Yes or no, guys? Yes. Yes, sir. So tell me the syntax, guys. Now, if you have understood, now tell me the syntax of alter. What is the what is the use of alter? First tell me. Alter is used to what? Is used to perform three activities. Three activities. Can you just tell me which are the activities we will perform? First is what? Add the column. Adding a column. Column. So adding a column. Can someone tell me what is the syntax to add a column? What is the syntax to add a column? Please yeah. tell me. What is the syntax to add a column? Alter. 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 Table. Table name. Table name. Add. Add. Column definition. Column definition. What is column definition? I have told you what is column definition. Can someone tell me what is column definition? Column name. Column name and then data type. data type. And if required, if required, what guys? Constraint. Do you remember that? Constraint, yes. which is an optional field. Do you remember? Constraint <laughs> is an is an optional field. Field. Yes or no, guys? Yes. Then the next thing using alter, what we can do? Yeah, Kirti, what we can do using alter? 
drop a column. How can column. I drop a column? Can you just tell me? Syntax. Alter. Table. Table, table name. Table name. Then drop. Drop column. Column name. Drop column. And in column that. Name. Column name. Yes or no, guys? Yes. So what you, and, uh, you see, the difference is here we have to mention explicitly this column. Next is what, guys, what we can do using alter? We can rename a column. Yes or no, guys? Yes. How to rename a column? Can someone tell me the syntax? Alter, table, table name, then rename. What, what will happen, guys? What is the syntax? Column. Column, column name. No, no, no. Column, column one, column, column. two, column two. Are you able to understand? Rename. First, you have to write column, column one, two, column two. See here. Rename column one, column, column one, two, column two. Yes or no, guys? Yes, sir. Are you clear? Are you clear about alter statement? Are you clear about entire DDL statement? Which are the yes, DDL sir. statements? Tell me. Sir, I want to know adding and removing constraints, sir. I, I don't know the syntax actually. Okay, we'll discuss that also. Okay. First, tell me which are the DDL statements. Tell me, guys. Create. Create. Alter. Alter. Then. Then. Drop. Rename. Rename. Then. Rename. Okay. Drop. Then. Drop. Okay. Thank you. Yes or no, guys? Yes. yes. I'll take that, uh, Apashvi. First, let me just complete this. I'll take that. So, this is our the DDL statements. Now let me go to guys DML statements. So anyone knows which are the DML statements? Have anyone heard about that? Which are the Insert. DML statements? Insert, update, delete. I, U, D. Okay. It was something like I, L, U, but later it changed to I, U, D. Okay. I is used to insert. Okay. U is used to what guys? Update. 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 D is used to what, guys? Delete. Fine, guys. That means after uh, update, uh, creating a table, we need to insert the values. That is what is the insert. Inserting a record or inserting multiple record in a table, that is nothing but your insert statement. Okay, fine, guys. So create table. Suppose I take a, a column, a table name. Uh, yeah, Annapurna has joined today. Let me just take her name. Okay, Annapurna, okay, Annapurna, okay. So now I am creating a table whose name is Annapurna, its data is, uh, column is what? Uh, data type is number, okay, fine guys. Now data type is this one, number. This table is created. Now this is a table whose name is what guys? Can anyone tell me? Annapurna, whose column name is what guys? Salary. And data type is what guys? Number. Now I want to insert the values in this table. So how can I use? I'll use insert into one, one way is just write values and give the value. If you know the particular column. So this, this uh, what happened? Insert into the table name, Annapurna, okay? And then give the values, whatever values you want to enter. Suppose I want to insert 10. So now 10 is entered in this table called uh, whose name is Annapurna. Let us just see. Suppose I write select a star from Annapurna. What will happen? A record 10 has been ent entered. Yes or no, guys? Yes. Yes. So this is very easy way to insert. If we know that what is the exact column, then we can write values and their values. So this is one way to insert. Next way is anyone knows how to insert a record in a table? Any other way? Insert into table name values, column names first. Yes. So what is the another way, guys? Insert into table name. Take the table name, okay? Annapurna. Then give the column name. Suppose the column name is, guys, salary. And now I have written what? Insert into the table name, column name. Then give the values. And then the value you want to insert. Suppose I want to enter 20. So I will write like this. So what will happen? Insert into table name, column name, values and the value needs to be entered. I want to insert 20, 20 has been inserted. So what I will write? Select star from Annapurna. Yes or no guys? Yes. 
these are the two ways to insert the records in a table. First way is if we know the exact column, then we can write just values and the value. If we don't know the exact, then we can just write here the column name, values and the values we want to enter. Am I clear with both these ways, guys? Tell me yes or no. Yes. Excellent, guys. Excellent. So this is a table called as EMP. EMP table. Now, can I create a table where the structure is copied and data is not copied? What is the query for that? I want to create a table same like EMP where only the structure will be copied and data will not be copied. So what is the uh, syntax for that? How to create, create it? Tables. Create. Create table. Create table. Table name. Table name. OK, suppose the table name I am taking this time is what? uh some table name suppose product okay pro pro table name product okay okay product one okay create table table name then select star from emp as as select star from emp where condition false false where condition see see this is how a backup table is created create table table name then as Select star means all the records from this table from EMP. This is a false condition where one equals to two. This means what guys, a table will be created whose name will be what? Product one. But what will happen? Only the structure from this EMP table will be copied in this product one table. But will the data will be copied? Yes or no guys? No. No. So let us just uh, enter. So a table is created whose name is what? product let us just see the structure of this uh, table product what is the structure all the column names employee number employee name job all those things uh, is copied but is there any data in this guys tell me yes or no 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 so if i want to insert all the records from emp table what is the way guys do anyone know select a star from emp Okay. into a uh, product one something I, I don't know exactly no no i want to insert no so insert, insert into, into which table product product one values product first of all table name product one then values. select star, star from, from emp yes or no guys yes. yes now if you see select star from product one what will happen all more. the records have been directly copied or not? Yes. yes. So this is one way. This is called as what? Insert into table. And then you have to write the select query. Yes or no, guys? Yes. OK. So now tell me the syntax for insert. First of all, what is insert? What do you understand by an insert statement? What is insert? Insert to adding the rows. Adding? Data into the rows. Uh, insert is used to insert Got the data into table. Yes, insert the records in a table. Okay, fine, guys. First of all, insert is used to insert the record in a table. Excellent, guys. Excellent. Now, what is the syntax to insert? Can you just tell me syntax? What is the syntax? First syntax is what, guys? Insert, insert, insert in values. Yeah. Yes, let us just put three times. Insert into, into table, table, name, table name then values. values and then whatever value i want i can give in the bracket okay i am writing this to value so whatever value we want to this is one way next way guys can you just tell me one more way i told you insert, insert into column two table, table name, name then what the column name column, column name. one okay then values. values then value one yes or no guys Yes. Then I told you if I know the structure of the table is similar to the table from which I want to enter the records, what is the way? Insert into table name, then select, and then if I want all the columns, then all the columns from what? From the table, base table I'm writing from base table name. Yes or no, guys? Did you understood how to insert a record in a table? Yes. yes sir. 
so how to update the record 100% guys in life if you give any asphalt interview anywhere in this world update is a fixed question the seeking uh, asphalt interview whether it is development whether it is testing whether it is a project manager position or any manager position if is asking question on uh, sql 110% they will ask question on update so what is update guys update is used to what update a single record or multiple record yes or no guys yes excellent excellent so now let us just see if i have this product one table i want to uh, update this uh, suppose i want to update this smith to smith name i want to change to kirti so how can i do that can someone tell me update update table product one okay then update table table name then update table name then set, set column e name e name equals, equals to, to kirti kirti, kirti where you know. where what where e name equals to smith is name equals to that should be unique the where condition here is smith is unique if there are two times uh, smith then we will not take it then we will go to which column employee, employee number. number okay here it is a uh, unique only so that is fine so what we'll write here smith so now what will happen guys what is the output we are getting can everyone tell me what is the output i am getting one row updated one row updated so what will happen guys if i write select star from product one now what will happen guys can anyone tell me what will happen it is replaced by kirti yes smith is replaced by what kirti yes or no guys yes yes sir so what is the syntax can just someone tell me what is the syntax to update a particular uh, column guys update table, table name, name set, set column one equals to value one or like that column two equals to value two like that column if n columns are there then we want what value n and then what will happen where condition this is the syntax okay fine now i want to increase the salary by 10% so can you just think to write a update query to increase the salary by 10% write in the chat box just give a try to increment the salary in emp table by 10% so can you just write down the update query can you give a try first first guys can you just give a try to update the salary by 10% just give a try Mm, who has written that? Some Yukta has written sal plus sal, sal into ten by hundred. Update table name set salary equals to sal plus sal into ten by hundred. Excellent, guys. Excellent. What about Annapurna? Are you writing? What is happening? What about Rakesh and Gaurav and all? I have written. Hey, Rakesh, your problem was solved or not? You were asking something to me. No, this I I whatever you did at the initial stage I tried, but it didn't didn't work. See what and you have to do now. Yes, yes, yes. Just I'll show you. I you, I was talking to you, but you did not reply. You have to go to this service. No, I no I tried I tried this I tried this. No, no. Which one you have updated? Oh, that too. all Oracle uh, services are there. No, I tried, but one of uh, one of the services in this did not uh, restart itself. But the restart itself it, it has thrown error. No, no, this, this, and this. Yes. Okay, you have to restart. Actually, okay. this one, I S call one. 
okay uh, this one it is restarting but uh, the tap is not starting I no mean, no it will restart all start. these three just please do it now uh, this one just start okay. the service this one now is not okay. there this one this one this one and this one do this all this four now and tell me what okay. is happening okay fine guys <clears throat> just do it it will take one minute yeah so this is fine guys update table name okay this is very very easy guys so this is excellent guys excellent okay <coughs> excellent guys you have done a great work so this is a simple query guys what is the query update can anyone tell me kirti can you just tell me emp set hey, annapurna are you understanding anything yeah understanding but i didn't write it um, i i'm not um, clear okay. about that uh, no problem, no problem. today is the first day noble see update table name set i have to increment the salary by 10% so what i have to write guys akirti where are you getting this column called a salary i'm not able to understand there is no column called a salary right i have to take a very specific column gorav your query is wrong okay you have just incremented okay. by 10% no you have to add it be by the update updation of 10% okay are okay. you able to understand my salary is 100 rupees now i want an increment of 10% so what will be my salary tell me 100 plus 100 plus what 10 yes or no guys then yes. my salary is 110 that means sal plus sal into what 0.1 yes or no guys that is my the updated salary yes or no guys so this is my updated yes. salary this was the logic okay so no nothing that, that that's all if you understood the logic then this is fine update table name set sal equals to everyone tell me sir what is wrong in my my uh, query gorav you are telling uh, yes what is wrong in my query your query you are not adding you are just incremented the 10% you are just taking the 10 out of 100 your value will be 10 if i write this query what will happen what will be the output of this query it will give only 10 right okay are you able to understand so sal into 0.1% is getting uh, multiplied but what i wanted is sal plus sal into a okay 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 so let me just write the correct query update table name set sal equals to sal uh into 0. Point, oh you have written 1.1 no i think it yes, will work yes yes, yes. 1.1 will work that's fine <laughs> okay that, that, that's fine that's fine 1.1 means you have already incremented that's fine sal equals to sal plus sal i thought you have written 0.1 sal into can everyone tell me sal into 0.1 yes or no guys so what will be the incremented salary guys can anyone tell me it will be 800 plus 10% increment will it be 880 yes or no guys yes yes so this is called as update so <clears throat> if you have update uh, if you have understood update guys so you have uh, understood how to uh, update a particular uh, salary and all so this is called this is very important sometimes they will tell to update the name sometimes they will tell to update a job or a date or anything just remember when the where condition always use a unique value so this is insert this is update and the last thing is what guys delete have you heard about that yes so if i want to delete a record how can i delete a record can you just tell me delete from emp no no not from emp i don't want to delete the emp table i want to delete what delete from product one table if i want to delete guys how can i delete delete from product one now what will happen entire product table will be deleted or not yes or no product one table yes or no guys kirti are you there yes kirti are you listening to me yes yes so this product one table will be deleted yes so now what will happen guys all this product one table is deleted fine guys now if i want to see the data so what is the what is rollback guys i'll tell you later product one okay there is no record here insert into product one 
as select star from EMP. This is EMP table. Okay. Insert. Oh, what is the structure of product one? What happened to product one? Insert into product one. Select star from EMP. Yes. Now this is the product one table. Okay. Fine, guys. This is product one table. Now I want to delete uh, product one table. What I will write? Delete from product one. Yes. So entire 14 records are deleted. Yes or no, guys? Yes. Now, if I want to get back, no, I will be using rollback. What is this rollback? I'll tell you guys. As of now, just we want to retrieve the data. So this is select star from product one. Fine, guys. Now, my question to you is, Mm, rollback complete. It's not the data is not coming. Okay, fine. That is fine, guys. We'll just do it. Insert into product one, select star from uh, EM. This is fine, guys. So, this is what is the product one table. Okay, fine. Now, the thing is, I want to delete a particular record. Suppose I want to delete this. Smith record. So how can I delete guys? Can you just tell me? Delete from delete from EMP. From table name. Product, product one. Where, where, where e name equals Smith. E name equals to Smith. Smith. Excellent, guys. Excellent. So this particular record will be only deleted. Yes, only one record is deleted. Yes or no, guys? Yes. You know, there is a command called as rollback, which is used to roll back whatever we have done using what? Using what? Uh, the particular uh, DML statement. DML statements can be rolled back using what? Uh, the particular rollback command. Okay. If you see, select a star from product one um, why it is telling no records select a star from product one yes um, there's something wrong happening insert into product one select star from emp yes yes insert into product product one select star from emp yes guys so this is the um, table product one okay yes guys so what i was telling is that uh, if i want to uh, particularly uh, roll back a particular command a particular dml statement then we use rollback let me just create a fresh table Create table. Suppose I want to create a table whose name is uh, something uh, CHO. Okay. Now I have a column called as salary, a data type called as 10. Okay, fine, guys. Now in this table, if I want to insert a record, so insert into values, I have given a value called as 10. So insert into table name CHO values. Now value I'm giving as as what? 10 fine guys now if you take this cho table i have only one record now i want to delete from cho so all the records from the uh, cho table is deleted so there was a command called as rollback i don't know i have the access or not so it will tell if i have the access it will take about rollback completed and the dml statement what i have executed i can get it back let me just see no, here I don't think I have the access, but when the access is there, guys, no, guys, when we'll get the rollback complete. Rollback means tells means what? Whatever statement you have executed using DML should be rolled back. We should be getting it back. That is called as, but that prior access should be given by the admin so that you can roll back. Rollback complete means what? Whatever statement we have done here, that will be what? Rolled back. Am I clear, guys? Yes. So yes, that yeah, if that access is given, then the rollback, I don't have the access, I think, here. So it's not showing. As after rollback, what will happen, guys? 
this particular uh, record which was deleted, it would have been seen. Yes or no, guys? Yes. Yes, sir. But the, this is called as rollback. So this is the DML statement, guys. This is called as what? Delete. Okay, fine, guys. So delete. So what is a delete statement? Now, if someone will ask you, what is a delete? What you will tell? Delete. We can delete all the rows, or we can delete. Delete is used to what? Used to delete. Delete the records. Yes or no, guys? Yes. yes Next is what? It can delete one or more record. Yes or no, guys? Yes. How can we roll back the data? We can roll back the data using what, guys? What is the keyword we have to use? Roll back. Roll back. Fine, guys. Excellent. Now, to commit any DML statement, we need to use what, guys? We need to use commit. commit. Okay. Now, so now a question will ask what is the difference between uh, delete and drop and truncate? What will you tell? What is the difference between delete? Then comma drop, then comma truncate. What is the difference, guys? Can you just tell me? What is delete? Delete, delete the uh, table. First of all, delete is what? A DML or a DTL statement? It yeah. is a DML. Excellent, guys. Excellent. What about drop? DDL. 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 What about truncate? DDL. DDL. Okay. Next. What is the difference? What is delete? Delete uh, can be used for one or more records. Can be used to to delete one or more records. More records. Yes or no, right? Yes. yes. And what about uh, drop? Drop. Uh, we uh, in drop we can drop the table. It cannot be used to delete, delete the records. one or one record. One or multiple records. Only what will happen? Only all the records. All records. Yes. All records from a table will be dropped. Deleted. Always yeah. tell drop. When you're telling drop, just tell drop. When you're telling truncate, tell truncate. When you tell delete, tell delete. Don't tell that in the drop, the deleting the record. No. Always use the proper word. Your every word will mine it. This is not a uh, class which is uh, uh, non-technical, very, very specific class, every word will, uh, will have some significance. When you tell drop, just tell drop. It can be used to uh, delete, uh, it cannot be used to delete one or multiple record. All the records from a table will be dropped. Excellent, guys. Now tell me truncate, what happens in the truncate, guys? Truncate, truncate the table. Yes, truncate, what will happen, guys? Truncate the truncate cannot be used. First, tell me truncate cannot be used to delete the record. Truncate again. Truncate, truncate one, the record. one or Many multiple records. records. Then what will happen? Multiple records. What will happen in this case of truncate, guys? All records from a table will be will be what truncated again you are using they just use a very specific word truncated okay yes now next what is the difference what is the second difference can someone tell me what is the what happens in delete we can roll back the records we need that. to we need to commit the dml statement in this sense, we need to commit the delete statement. Here, what happens, guys? DTL statements cannot are, be committed. Are committed by itself. You don't need to explicitly commit it. It gets committed by itself. 
This is also a DDL statement. So we can write what? Write like this truncate statement are committed, committed by itself as it is a DDL statement. Okay, guys, like that only you tell for drop. Like that you tell for drop. Drop statements are committed by itself as it is a DDL statement. Now, what is the third difference? Can someone tell me? We can use what? Roll back. We can use what? Roll back to get the data back. Yes or no, guys? Yes. Here, is there any option of uh, rollback? Tell me yes or no, guys? No. Here, yeah, there is an option called as what? Flashback. To get the data from where? Can someone tell me? Recycle we can get the data from where? Recycle B. But here, is there an option? No option to retrieve the data. But here we can write flashback to get the data uh, from the recycle bin. But if we use what, guys? We use purge, the data will be dropped what? Permanently. Permanently. Excellent, guys. Excellent. So these are the uh, differences between delete, drop, and truncate. It was uh, mandatory questions and uh, and with your project and everything you should understand why we are using. Generally in ETL testing, what we will use guys? Truncate and load. Have you heard about this? Truncate and load. load. It's also called as PNL. That means short form. Truncate and load. Why we use truncate and load? There are two reasons. Can you just tell me why in ETL testing, when I'll, I have not started ETL testing, while well, I'll start the ETL testing, we'll every time do the T truncate and load. Why we'll do truncate and load? Why not delete or drop? Can anyone think? Yeah, uh, Kirti, can you just think? Uh, Samyukta, can you just give a try? Why we truncate and uh, load? And load on ETL. Hmm. Why will not delete and load? Why will not drop and load? Any idea? Any guess? Because in truncate, table structure still remains. Excellent, now. guys. That is what table structure remains. So we need to what? We need to clear clear the, the data data from the and from the table and table. then and then what? And then load uh, load it load the data one more thing so <clears throat> that can be done using delete also but what is the problem delete statement what will happen guys will need to be committed or not yes yes the, this problem is not in not in truncate yes or no guys now, are you understanding why we we'll use truncate, not drop and uh, delete? Yes or no, guys? Yes, yes, sir. But in our DB testing, we'll generally use what? Delete. Why we'll use delete? So that if we delete a record, we can just roll back. Yes or no, guys? Yes. This completes your DML statements. So which are the DML statements? Can everyone tell me? Which are the DML statements? Delete. Insert, update, delete. Insert is used to what? Insert one, one record or multiple record. Update is used to what? Update one record or multiple record. Delete is used to what? Delete one record or multiple record. This completes your DML and DDL guys. And there is something called as TCL, which we do not use, but you should know. Transaction. Control, control language. Um, Have you heard about that? So, which are the trans transaction uh, control language? 
there is something called as what guys there is something called as commit have you heard about that there is something yes. called as roll back. roll back and there is something called as what save point save point excellent guys excellent. you know so many things tell me what is a commit statement using dml commands we need to commit, commit is used to commit any dml statement excellent guys roll back what is roll back roll back any dml statement yes or no guys yes it's very very yes. easy commit and roll back very very easy i'll show you very very easy although i don't have the access but still i'll show you what happens suppose this is a table whose name is cho let us just see what is the record in cho okay there is no record insert into cho but it will not work as i don't don't have the access but i'll tell you what happens actually now what happens select a star from cho fine guys now cho is uh, uh inserted i have inserted one record into cho okay now commit it so now this statement is committed i have inserted the record fine guys now now what will happen is uh, i will just delete uh from cho so now what will happen guys one record is deleted now i'll use roll back so what will happen guys roll back completed so select a star from cho so are you able to see what happened guys yes or no yes mm -hmm. so now see here delete from cho means what guys can everyone tell me there how many records was there in cho only one record yes or no yes whose yeah. value was 10 did you understood this much kirti yes or no yes so if you have understood we have first of all what we did we created a table cho where we inserted a value called as what 10 am i clear till this much guys yes yeah. now i wrote select star from cho that means the value 10 is there in this table then i committed it commit means what very simple syntax c o m m i t commit that means that the statement is committed now what will happen guys this value is now committed here okay now what i did after this completion i have committed it it's fine now i deleted all the records from cho so how many records were there in this table cho can anyone tell me how many records were there only one only one then what happened then i rolled back then after roll back what happened guys can you just tell me what is the statement i am getting roll back complete yes or no guys yes yeah after roll back complete what happened guys when i write select star from cho tell me yes or no did the delete statement which i committed uh, which i did here did it got rolled back tell me yes or no yes tell me yes or no guys yes but if i don't use commit guys uh, then what will happen the commit will not work on roll back roll back will not work on commit now i have rolled back it okay now if i would have committed this delete statement then this roll back will not work am i able to tell you what i am telling see now let us just see what is the table guys cho how many records are there 10 yes or no guys yes so now if i delete from cho will it be deleted yes so yes. how many records are there in cho now no row no row so if i roll back what will happen guys what will happen guys what will happen kriti same record will come same record has come back yes or no Yes. Did you understood this much? Tell me yes or no. Yes. Mm -hmm. After delete, we cannot do commit. We can execute rollback. No, no. You can use. If you use commit, then that rollback will not work. That is what I am telling. See. Here. All right. See, this is the rollback. The rollback completes. This is the table. Okay. Now see here. This rollback is done. After deleting the the record from Cho, I just roll back using rollback. Now what I am do doing? i am deleting from cho i am deleting from cho yes now i am writing here commit so now what will happen guys this statement delete got committed or not tell me yes or no yes yeah. now if i do roll back what will happen will the data be retrieved or not tell me yes or no 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 are you able to understand no this now now it will not be retrieved why it will not be retrieved Because, because this rollback will not work on the commit. Am I clear till this much? Tell me yes or no. 
Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Are able to understand? If I put a rollback, then commit will not work. If I put a commit, then rollback will not work. If you have understood this much, then tell me if what is your understanding. There is a table whose name is EMP. Is having a data called as department number equals to ten. Now I deleted this statement. This particular EMP table. Uh, EMP table. Delete from EMP. What is the output? Can someone tell me the output? What will be the output? All fourteen rows deleted. No, no. Here only one record is there. Department number equals to ten. So what is the output now? So all the de uh, department no, number. No, no. If I have deleted and now I am writing select star from EMP. What will be the output? No rows. No rows. Excellent, guys. Excellent. Now <laughs> I did roll back. This is a syntax roll back and then a semicolon. Then now what will happen? Now, if I write select star from EMP, what will be the output, guys? Fourteen rows display. Department okay. number. All the reports. No, no. Only department number equals to ten. I have only department number equals to ten. Are you able to understand? Okay. So, am I clear? Department number equals to ten. Yes or no, guys? Yes. yes. Now, next. This is scenario one. This scenario is over. Now I am going to a particular scenario. Scenario two. In this scenario two, what I am doing? Now, this is the EMP table. Having a column department number, having a value ten. Now what is happening, guys? I am writing delete from delete from EMP. Now what will happen, guys? All the fourteen records will be deleted or not? Yes. Yes, deleted. Now what I am doing? I am doing what? Commit. Now what will happen, guys? All the records which are deleted are committed. Yes or no, guys? Yes. 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 So now, if I write roll back, what will happen, guys? Can you just tell me? Will, will the roll back work? No. No. See, guys, now tell me. This is the scenario, guys. Can can someone tell, give me the answer for scenario two? This is a EMP table. There is a column whose name is department number. The value is what ten. Now I am delete deleted from this table all the records. That means department ten has been deleted. All the All the no, not all fourteen records. All the records. How many records are there? There are only one record. Department ten has been deleted. Now I am committing it. What will happen now, guys? Tell me. If I am committing, what will happen? It will become a permanent delete. Are you able to understand? It will become a permanent delete. Now, if I do roll back, roll back. Will not affect the data. Am I clear till this much? Tell me yes or no. Scenario two. Yes. Am I clear, to, guys? Tell me yes or no. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So the commit does not work on rollback, and rollback does not work on commit. So that these are the things, guys. I have worked. The last is the save point. Have you heard about that? Can I take save point today or tomorrow? Anyone tomorrow? Tomorrow. Okay. Okay. This is a conditional rollback. I'll tell you. So these are the guys. DML, DDL, TCL. We have completed. First, we learn DQL or DRL. So which are the DQL, DRL statement? Select. Okay. Then we learn DDL. Which are the DDL statement? Tell me, everyone. Create. Truncate. Then. Drop. Then. Rename, then alter. Which are the DDL statement guys? DML uh, statement guys? Can everyone tell me which are the DML statement? Insert, Insert. then update, update, then delete. delete. Then we learn TCL statement guys. Which are the TCL statement? Commit, roll back, roll back and save point. Commit and save point. Tomorrow we will learn save point. And then some people use DC, DCL. Have you heard about DCL, Data Control Language? Anyone has ever heard about that? Is it, this is not ever uh, used, but have you ever heard about that? Yes. yes. What are that? Grant and grant and revoke. 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 Just we are giving a granting and permission and revoking that permission. Again, I will take that. If you know this much, guys, there is no one who can challenge you in SQL. If you know this much. That's more than enough. Then after this, guys, 
this is not the end we will again learn something called as row id something called as row num something called as rank something called as dense rank okay then we will learn something called as uh, views index all those things okay index we'll also learn something called as partition by okay guys yes and then we will learn something called as all the kind of functions after all these things guys you will become an expert in sql and then we will move to the etl testing one more week i think we will take sql then we will start our actual course that is etl testing am i clear with today's class guys tell me yes or no yes yes so i am just sharing you the notes guys just wait 2 minutes and then you can leave do you want today's recording or you have taken 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 no good 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 